It's starting to feel like I've done this video before. All right, I have twice already, but this, they, I don't think this, this company knows what they're doing because they have Cakewalk Next, Cakewalk Sonar, and Cakewalk. And these are all digital, digital audio workstation stuff, right? So I got Cakewalk Sonar to work. I got Cakewalk to work. <laughs> and now we're going to do this one because I figure I'd cover all three bases uh, due to the fact that, well, there's three of them. And they might all be different. Another thing is, Photocree is a thing. And Photocree is basically uh, a web wrapper for Photopea. So, yeah. But it's riddled with ads, so I'm not going to use it. Alright, so I already have this downloaded. All you need to do is click here, and then click for Windows, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to exit this. I'm going to save this because I'm literally going to change the image again for a third time. We're going to do this with Lutris. As you can see, I already have Cakewalk here. We're going to go here. We're going to search for the, uh, we're going to do the executable. This is going to be called Cakewalk next. And that's the identifier, even though technically it's just this. It's dumb. I don't like that. So we're going to do install. And we're going to hit install, then we're going to hit continue, and uh, we're going to select the file. We're going to go to downloads, and as you can see, I have this. It's there. We're going to hit install, and we're going to let it run through. And it should pop up the installer any minute now, which it did. Great, there it is. Now it's black, so you're probably like, oh, this isn't usable, I can't use this. You're right, but that's why we do that. You you literally just click this a bunch of times. I don't know why that works, but it does. And we're gonna just install this. It's gonna extract files. It's gonna do this thing. Now with this thing, we're gonna open up system monitor, okay? So you open up your system monitor and you're gonna find this. I'm gonna kill the process, okay? And that's going to cause the rest of the files to start extracting and installing. And the reason being is, is because this is the web installer version and it does not work. You need the standalone version, which we can install later. So if we actually head over here and we go down, 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 down. See, it says it's download is done. It's waiting. And then this bar pops up and it never finishes. And it's so annoying. Where is it in here? The last time I found it, it was in the M's, but I guess uh, it's not there no more. Ah, oh, there it is. So we can just kill this and it's gone. And now we can launch this. Hopefully it won't crash my desktop environment. I really hope it doesn't. And it doesn't. Yes. So this is what the new version looks like, huh? Great. Release notes. And, uh... Start the scan for VSTs. And we're also going to do new project. And with this, hopefully it's just a drag and drop where I can drag and drop everything in here. Damn, that is responsive as hell compared to the older one. <laughs> and it converted it to a WAV file? Wait, is everything in there? No, it's not. Strange. Is it is it converting? Is that what it's doing? I mean, yeah, it's it's currently converting uh, the Diablo songs to a WAV file. Crazy. So we're going to wait for this to finish because I want all of my audio in here before we do anything. And we're going to hit play. Now I'm going to be completely honest about this. Okay, as you can see, my voice is right there. This performs so much better than this one here, which is Cakewalk Sonar, and the original Cakewalk, which is right... Well, it's in Lutris at the moment, but this one... This one kills. I like this one. I like this one a lot. If I was going to edit audio together and mix tracks together, this would be my go-to, without a doubt. Anyway, um... That was a super short video, so above all the rest, I would recommend this one the most. It seems to be beautiful, honestly. See, if Foss 
developers took the time to make their UI actually usable, like this does, okay, uh, things might be a little bit better on Linux because people want professional level grade applications like on Windows. And Linux currently lacks that minus DaVinci's results. So I hope that one day we get up to the standard where we can have applications that look this freaking good and run this well without all the compromises of making it look like Windows Movie Maker with Caden Live and other applications. Yeah, I mean, there are, there are some exceptions. We're gonna minimize this. There are clearly some exceptions like uh, OpenShot, where are you? Where are you, my friend? You're here somewhere. I know you are. I smell your darkness. There it is, open shot. This takes forever to open up because it's an app image. But yeah, look at that. That looks great. That's that's nice and pretty. It looks archaic as hell because it's just flat with colors. But hopefully one day they can go in and add some pizzazz like this because this separates colors with depth and everything else. While this is getting closer to that, it looks nothing like it whatsoever. It needs little gradients and shadows and things like that to really pull off that look. I mean, this looks like more of an audio editor than it does a video editor. Plus, when I drag in anything, it crashes. So, you know, there's that. Here, let's example. Ready? So we're going to drag this in. Totally not about this app, by the way. We're going to just drag that in. You son of a bitch. You didn't crash? You There it goes. Okay, it just took a minute. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If this helped you out, let me know in the comments. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Help me out with all that cool stuff. And I will see you guys next time. And we're done with Cakewalk. Bye. Hey, this last one was a Cakewalk.